Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello Beverly Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and guys, it is time to talk about Beverly Hills. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop. Subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell guys and let's talk about this mess because it is time to talk about the Erica Jane show because we have a little bit of information coming from the Gerardi case, okay? All this information is coming from Radar Online, and apparently a laptop was found that might contain information related to the case and to where all the money is. Now, it says over here that a laptop belonging to Erica Jane's strange husband former law firm was found and his victims are hoping the device hold answers to their missing money. According to court documents obtained by Radar, the trustee presiding over the bankruptcy for Tom Girardi just informed the court about this computer. Okay, In the recent filings, the trustee says she discovered a laptop containing files from Girardi's firm in the possession of his former employee, Christopher Cameron, okay? The trustee says they have the man Cameron hand over all physical files and records of Gerardi in his possessions as the laptop and the physical files in, and records of Gerardi's are property of the state. But guess what? Guess what is going to happen? He doesn't want to do it, okay? Cameron just told the trustee that he used the laptop to store personal matters and sensitive information. What sensitive information? Like the porn that you're watching? Goodbye. He says the court has no right to access his personal information on the laptop. Despite his fears, Cameron reached out a deal to turn over the device to the trustees, and the laptop will be returned to him after the bankruptcy is closed. The trustees is hoping... The trustee is hoping the device will assist in figuring out Gerardi's assets and liabilities. The biggest question is where his former client's money ended up, of course, you know? So this is my thing. Why the first answer from everyone has to be no? Unless you have something to hide, you know, I will be like, okay, take it, you know? Like, what do you have to hide? What personal information you might have in there unless there are things that may involve you on this case or another illegal things happening, you know? Like why it is so hard to do the right thing and being like, okay, let's find them money for these people, okay? No, I think honestly at this point, I don't know if all lawyers are the same, but I'm guessing the main lawyers are just crook. But you know what? They are because that's the way the system works. At the end of the day, especially here in America, it's all about how you're going to fool the system. What loopholes are you going to find? How are you going to play the law? You know, and it's it's never like straightforward. It's never like, oh, you did something wrong there. You're going to pay for it. No, it's always like, you know a curve way, you know, and there are always like little ways that you can escape, you can, you know, do something to uh, make everyone believe that you're innocent, you know, bend the, uh, the laws, you know, it, it is a mess. But anyways, so now they found this computer, we don't know exactly what's inside, okay, I'm hoping they reveal what it's inside, and honestly, I'm just hoping that they find the money. It has been too long, Let's just find the money and give it back to these victims, okay? Because what else are we going to do? So that's it. That's the little tea that I have right there for you coming from the Girardi, from the Girardis, okay? Erica, I mean, nothing honestly has been happening with Erica. She's still being sued for the $25 million. She's still being sued for the $2 million for the, from the orphans and widows. She's still not acknowledging Chet. She's just filming The Real House of the Bay Hills, living, you know, her carefree life, you know. And that's it. There's really nothing else going on. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will keep you updated as soon as we know more. 
and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel guys do not forget to subscribe to all my social media you can find me anywhere as real andy bh you can find me on instagram facebook twitter tiktok like everywhere okay and if you want to get close and personal do not forget to subscribe to my other youtube channel the real real andy where i have a lot of fun things travel blogs food blogs like q and a's like you know just to get to know each other on a more personal level so go and subscribe to that youtube channel don't forget to check out my merch okay it's on the description the link is in the description over here and yeah that's it i'll see you around See ya. Bye. Oh my God.